Today we're going to take a minute to talk about three different kinds of muscle testing. It's important that we understand what kind of muscle testing we're doing before we start challenging muscles, because what kind of muscle testing we're doing is going to impact what answer we're looking for and what the muscle response means when we see it with a client or with ourselves. So number one, the first kind of muscle testing is actually testing a muscle for its own strength. We see this more in sports kinesiology, in physiotherapy, when we're working with things like injury and injury recovery and injury prevention. So when we're working with muscle testing in this way, we're challenging a muscle. So let's say there's been like a rotator cuff injury or something like that. We might challenge some of the muscles that are um, related to this shoulder to see how strong they are whether they're able to respond properly to a physical challenge and stimuli. And then the practitioner might recommend things like certain exercises that are going to help to strengthen it or might use that and then offer like a physical change to the fascia or to the muscle in order to try to like change what's happening with that space in the body. So that's one kind of muscle testing. The second kind is a muscle as an indicator for a meridian flow in the body. This is the kind of muscle testing that was popularized in the late 60s, early 70s by chiropractors like George Goodhart and John Thie. And this is the foundation behind applied kinesiology or specialized kinesiology, which is more the kind of kinesiology that I work with. So when we're working with this kind of thing, we might be testing the same muscle. So in this case, uh, like the pectoralis major clavicular muscle. But when I'm testing it, I'm not testing it to see how strong is that muscle. Rather, I'm looking at what kind of response do I get here as an indicator for a specific meridian in the body, in this case, the stomach meridian. So that can tell me things about energetic flow in the body. It might tell me things about uh, what's happening with a certain organ system, whether it is stressed or not. It might tell me a little bit about emotional state. It's going to depend on the context. So this kind of testing tends to be much lighter because we're not really looking for load bearing or something like that. We're just looking to see what's happening with this flow. And the last kind of testing that I want to talk about is indicator muscle testing related to the meridian kind of testing. But here, um, this is more about asking the body questions and looking to see, is there stress on that or not? So we challenge a muscle with certain things and we might challenge it with a nutrition. That's a very common one that you might see where somebody's holding, say, a supplement or something like that. And, you know, someone's testing a muscle to see is this good for this person or not. We can challenge almost anything in this way, because whenever a person thinks about a place, another person, a concept, a food, whatever it is, their body is going to be responding to that subconsciously. Is this something that brings energy into my system and feeds me on an energetic level? Or is this something that is stressful to me and therefore takes energy out of my system? And when we work with an indicator muscle like that, this is what allows us to kind of start creating complex stories and bits of information for this person about like the root cause of whatever's going on in your body. So this is intricate. And um, this is where I, I see a lot of the magic of kinesiology is being able to kind of look into what's happening for you as an individual. How are you responding to these things in your life? So uh, a practitioner can put together these different kinds of muscle testing. But as I said, it's really important that you know what kind of muscle testing you're doing before you start, because it's going to impact how hard you're pushing on the muscle and also what that information means. Like, are you looking for stress or are you looking for what's going to strengthen something? Because then the response is going to be different, right? And I think this is where a lot of practitioners get hung up is they're not really clear on what kind of testing they're doing at the beginning. And so they're not really clear on what an answer means when they get an indicator change or when they don't get an indicator change. And therefore they start to second guess. So we're going to talk more about these different kinds of muscle testing in a future video. You can also check out our video on three different ways to self-test. All right. Have fun playing with it.